So what makes this your favorite job here, Cooper? I think it's just because like you don't have to think about it, and it's like the the shapes that it's just like organic. They uh, they make me happy. I don't know. <laughs> Do you find it like very satisfying? Yeah, like it's kind of like it's just like therapeutic. It's like kind of spin them around, find the little like tail. And it just turns into whatever shape the caramel is. Yeah. Like the blob. Caramel figures it out for me. <laughs> caramel does it work for you. Yeah. Do you have a favorite job yet here, Brian? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about the, doing the, the nut knocking? It's alright. It's alright. It's not the worst thing. It's not your favorite thing though? No. Yeah, I found that Cooper just really likes very satisfying things. Yeah. I mean, I don't know many people who don't like satisfying things, but that definitely seems to be like Cooper's niche. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like this is like this is a weird one to choose a favorite, but yeah, I was surprised honestly when you I told think me it's that. Caramel too. Like I just love, I love it, so mm. the whole process of like making these is just very fun because I love to eat them at the end too. So. Mm -hmm. And were you guys Full saying circle. earlier that you guys had an extra stuff that you guys had to do today on accident? Yeah, so we were going to be very good, and we were trying to save time today by, like, not having to knock as many nuts. So we had some uh, people yesterday knock the nuts and, like, line them up on a tray like we're doing here now. But um, over the night, and I guess to our surprise, too, like, the caramel spread out substantially so that it stuck back together and yeah we i like i came in and i was checking them and i like picked the whole thing up and <laughs> yeah. i was like okay then so it just like because they were a little bit closer than these are so they stuck back together yeah 100%. so you like you try to pick one up and then the whole thing came up it was like a rug i went and i found brian and i was like brian you have to help me there's like there's so many turtles and they're all stuck together <laughs> we've been having fun this morning yeah That one just fell right out, huh? That one fell out. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah. Because you're saying a bunch of the other ones are cracking? Yes. So then I foil this. I already walked in. She already had them all foiled. She's too fast. A nut and a caramel. Bad. Here, if it comes off, I'll just push it down on this. Like that. Yeah, Gotta center it. Oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> Got to be tight. Oops. Double knot it. Just like that. And then I'll use this. Do you have a favorite Valentine's ribbon? I got a lot of favorites. Yeah? Can't pick? Can't pick. That pinch it. Like My fingers are all gloves. Double knot again. Cut this off. Then I gotta get a bobble. Because it's gotta be. Yeah. Yes, I did those. Those are solid chocolates. Mm. 
I have to get them off. So those aren't tops or anything? They're just like, that's the whole thing at the heart? Yeah, just the chocolate heart. And there are different types of bottles over here? Oh, yeah. I love these jewels, mm. roses. Mm. Look how fancy those are. Oh, little hearts. Fancy. Hearts. Yeah. But I think I'll go because I want to, those are too big to go out. Mm. Are any of these new this year or are they all still from last year? Last year. Yeah. I'll use some rose. Not all of these. Hmm. I just put a little rose in there. What do you think? So then you already did a couple of them. Do you guys have a lot more to do today? Or do they just keep making them as the season I goes on? I put them out. I did a bunch of them over there. Oh, okay. So you guys are already building up a little bit of yes. Valentine's display. I already got one full box of them. Mm -hmm. And Al, you're doing the peanut butter hearts? Yep, the vegan ones. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So is there a reason you guys don't use the funnel for these ones? The funnel? The funnel and the stick method? for the, That's what they do for the peanut butter cups. Um, I think it's like, this is right out of there, so it's thicker, mm -hmm. so you have to use like a spatula and knives, I don't know, ask uh, Karen Because that. that's I what you're know. told to do? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's what Karen showed me, so that's what I do. Karen knows best. Mm -hmm. I have been using ShipStation for almost five years, and I love it. ShipStation saves my bacon. Vegan bacon? Yes, I think that would be assumed. Just checking. Yes, thank you for that. Chocolate covered vegan bacon. Woo a thing. It saves my bacon on a daily basis. It saves me money because it gets me the best shipping rates no matter which carrier I use. ShipStation works seamlessly with all platforms whether you're selling on Amazon, Etsy, or your own website like me. It saves me time and aggravation because it keeps us on track and prevents shipping errors. The shipping information is automatically filled in for you and the customer gets the tracking information with no input from me. There are no hassles with returns or return tracking. ShipStation handles it and you can't make a mistake. It just works in the background. I don't have to think about it. I don't even have to call customer service because I don't need it. They just do a great job. Anywho, you've got to try it for yourself. That's what I did and I was hooked. Just go to shipstation.com forward slash Hercules to get a 60 day free trial. That's two months of free, no hassle, stress free shipping. Try it before you buy it. ShipStation makes ship happen. And thank you ShipStation for sponsoring this video. So mom, the, yes? I know the people are gonna be wondering why we're not using the funnel and stick or a pastry bag. <laughs> Take it back. Don't say those words in front hey, of me. Hey, hey, I'm just a messenger. Funnel and stick. You know I hate that. <sighs> Anywho, what was your question? Uh, Sorry. Yeah, people are going to be wondering why we don't use a, a PB for the PB or okay. or a funnel and the stick. <laughs> you couldn't think of the, the first letters for those words. Could you? Hey, you're okay with funnel and stick usually. Just, yeah, it's usually yeah. the PB it's, Yeah, but the PB. you know what? It's Tuesday. I don't want to hear about any funnel and sticks. Mm -hmm. Anyways, why do we not use those? Okay. Because when you do the peanut butter, the funnel, and stick, you either heat it up or you whip it, and you whip it good, and that breaks the emulsion. Mm. Do you know what an emulsion is? It Did, didn't really give me a time to answer that, Mom. Go ahead. I, I don't know the answer, but... Okay. Anywho, <laughs> emulsion is basically, it's the act of the two things being held together. Mm. So sure. is that the scientific? If I looked that up in a textbook, yes. that's what I would say. Yes, the act because of the two I only being speak, held together. I only speak in scientific terms. Right. Yes. But basically, there, textbook Terry. There's an emulsifier, which I think it's often it's less than. I'm not sure if that's what it is with peanut butter because I, I can't remember. Mm. But it's basically holding together two things that don't want to be held together. So mm. fat. It's usually like say water and vinegar. If there's an emulsifier in there, then something will keep it mixed up. But when you heat it or whip it, you've broken the emulsion and you mm. can't put it back together. So that means it's thin. Yeah. Yeah, so I've noticed that like when you heat them up, it stays thin. Right. No matter what. Even when it cools back down. Right. And same as if you whip it. Because that's something your dad just tried. Did he talk to you about whipping peanut butter? He did not. 
Yes, he saw that somewhere that if you whip it, it will be do the same thing. Yeah. So he did. He used, I think, he used the hand mixer and he whipped it so that was whipped instead of heated, and mm. that worked too. But once you break the emulsion, it doesn't go back, so mm -hmm. it stays broken, so it stays running. So that's why we don't use it for the peanut butter hearts because it's a two-piece mold and it will run out of the sides because it's not sealed together; it's just set on top. So that's why yeah. we just have to use the thick, pure Jif peanut butter. You guys usually like it when it's thick for the peanut butter, especially things where you're going to be dipping the hearts, right? Well, we don't actually dip the hearts. It's basically the the little heart box where we're putting the thick peanut butter in it, and then the then we put the top on, and that peanut butter holds it on there. Like well, when up. I say you're dipping the hearts, it's like uh, you break the top off, and then it's made to be able to dip in the peanut butter. Oh, right? oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, okay, I see what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the the, the end do receiver the is the heart dipper. Yes, we're not dipping any hearts here. Okay. Yes, I think people like that. Yeah. Well, I think they'd be happy either way. If they can get some peanut butter and chocolate into their mouth at the same time, I think they're going to be happy. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, we don't want it running out the sides is basically why we go with the thick peanut butter for the um, the little peanut butter hearts. Mm -hmm. And we go for the de-emulsified peanut butter for the mm -hmm. peanut butter cups because we're putting a, 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 sealing, a sealed top on those and hopefully it'll keep the peanut butter in. And if it doesn't keep the peanut butter in... We have a separate skew called Messy Peanut Butter Cups. Mm -hmm. We sell them for half price. And we actually got some Messy Peanut Butter Cups on the website mm -hmm. last night. Oh, really? Yes. They're I, probably don't, I don't know if they'll, yeah, they'll probably go they'll by the time I see this. Because I, I think a lot of people have in that um, where you put your email in to find oh, out what the bag is stuck. Because yeah. I put them on there yesterday, and within five minutes, I got several orders, which tells <laughs> me that they got their notification. They're like, Messy Peanut Butter Cups, cheap, good, yes! <laughs> That was me typing on a keyboard. Right, right, yeah, yeah. In case you weren't sure. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get your feet into it, too. Mm -hmm, It'll mm -hmm. make the message go through faster. Yeah. Yeah. So, That's all just right. science. Well, I'm glad we got that long explanation out of the way. And I got my aerobic activity in. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. Uh, those are the big ones. Yep. They look kind of like cookies, like when you're done with them over here. They're like such perfect circles. Yeah. <laughs> cookies by Cooper. <laughs> what? You're not Cooper. Well, he did all the other ones. Yeah, that's true. So you just jumped in and you're stealing his favorite job? Yes. <laughs> and this, this is our high-tech... Cookie making. <laughs> is that cardboard and duct tape? It is. <laughs> you know who made that? Probably Dad. Oh, okay. You can Bam! See, I can see Joe making that, too. Hold on. <laughs> These are all the scraps. Yeah. You guys squish, <laughs> you guys squish them together just to make... One big one? Just for fun. Just for fun? <laughs> They're not for selling? Right. For Leah's fun? It's not working. <laughs> No, same idea. Well, I know so you use your fingertips more for this than you would like the potato chip bark because you have to mix kind of like the dust and stuff around. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. It's, I try not to make it too dusty. I try to make it yeah. chunky, <laughs> chunky, but it's hard, to, it's hard to regulate it with a hammer. <laughs> so yeah, now I notice that you're just using like your whole hand instead of your fingertips. And yeah, now I'm just spreading it out. Yeah. I don't want it to be too thick. Now that the, the the orange candy's mixed in there, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And it, do you pretty much have it all shaped the way you want it? The shape? Yeah. Shape uh, and size. Yeah. Pretty. I'll make it a little bit bigger, probably, because it's a little thick. Mm -hmm. Do you have to do this a little bit faster than you used to on the old table, just because it cools quicker? Oh uh, yeah, it does cool a little quicker on here. Yeah. Because the table is like 65 degrees. Mm -hmm. It's because it's all heavy metal. Mm -hmm. And it holds the cold coldness. And then I'm going to yeah. put cold water in here eventually. Makes it even colder. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it makes it colder because the water can only come out so cold, anyways. But yeah, it seems to work. Anyway, it just seems to get it cold and colder faster. This way, we can pick it up like within two hours. Instead of like eight hours of the old table? Yeah. Mm -hmm. they usually have to wait all day till five or six. But now, it's much quicker. And can you explain what you're doing with the tempering? I'm just feeling the temperature of the chocolate. And plus now that it's starting to cool, 
That's why I move my hand up and down more, so it gives it more texture, rather than just being flat. Mm. I try to give it a little texture. So it'll stick to your gloves and kind of make like peaks and valleys? Yeah. It just looks better, I think. Yeah. Like this, right, rather than just being like this. That's just my personal way of mm. making it. But when you're, can you explain what you're doing tempering wise as well? Yeah, I'm waiting for the temperature to get nice and cold. Actually, when this starts getting uh, hardening, hardening up, and then I can start to let go of it. Because otherwise, even the white chocolate will have cocoa butter rise to the top, and you'll see whiteness on it, even right through this white. Mm -hmm. So Thanks. how does uh, moving your hand on it temper the chocolate then? Uh, just mixing it up all the time. That way, uh, if I just left it halfway done, then there would be whiteness it would rise to the top. But if you keep mixing it until you're almost dry, that way the cocoa butter is, uh, is caught inside the chocolate and it won't go to the top. It won't to rise top. to the top. Yeah. Okay. did seem a little bit shorter. Yeah, it's, it's a little smaller. Because you said you didn't have quite I as didn't much have, orange. I didn't have enough orange to make it bigger, so it'll be okay for now. As long as corporate doesn't get mad. Yeah. Chunky. Mm -hmm. That's the way you so, like it. You know, nobody should be complaining. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all the chunks. Good work, Dad. All right. Now we'll get the water. Mm. Oh, to cool it down even faster? Yeah. This is the tricky part putting this on. Yeah, run it on. Yeah. You can do it, Dad, I believe it. Uh, did it first time. Yeah? You always get it first time? No, it <laughs> takes me two or three times. Just the camera's watching. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we'll just run some cold water through it. Mm -hmm. Is it nice being in the chocolate for once? Yes, it is. It's very cathartic. Yeah. And relaxing and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I know you said you like to give your brain a little bit of a break and do some physical stuff. Yes, I do. So and this is a lot less technical difficulties that can happen with this, right? Generally speaking, yes. <laughs> not that sometimes tempering is not annoying. I don't mind it. So, you know what? If it's cool enough in the room, it's no big deal. Mm -hmm. But if the temperature, temperatures in the room are a little high, then it's a little more difficult. So Brad used to be the vegan specialist. Yep. Now it's me. So are you guys caught up enough that you're able to come out here and do stuff? Well, basically between Leah and Kara, um, Leah does a lot of the labeling for shipping, and, and Kara does a lot of the shipping itself. So that frees me up so that I can uh, come out of my office and do this stuff. I noticed you guys are doing a lot of Valentine's Day stuff today. Is that coming up? I guess so. I mean, it comes up every year. Hmm. So th it's coming up again this year. I heard it's coming up on the 14th this year. Yeah, it's going to be in February. Hmm. I think it's a Monday. Hey, Steve. Why are you just standing there looking good? Would you mind? Please, thank you, you okay. know. Hmm. How many of these have you had to make so far? Um, as many molds as we have. So it's probably about 40-ish, I think. Okay. Is that probably all you're going to have to do for the vegan chocolate? Probably, yeah. yeah. I think we're doing a couple hundred for the um, the non-vegan stuff. But mm. Is that just milk, though, for the non-vegan? No, we do dark also. Oh, okay. So I've been trying to beef up the vegan stuff. I've got, I did some marshmallows. And tomorrow we're making brittle, so I'll do some chocolate covered vegan brittle. Because mm. I, I did some just a couple weeks ago, but that sold out. Yeah, I'll see if I can 
I'll see if I can do some, Craig. Just for me? Just for you. And customers? And yes, the customers too. If, if you leave any to them. Craig and the customers come first. Yes, CNC. What? Why is it all upside down? Oh my goodness. What are you doing? Because it looks cooler that way. <laughs> no. Oh, that's a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> no. It doesn't cover as well. You got to get the nuts like... So it covers the, the crevices the curtain, better? Yeah, the yeah. curtain covers the nuts a lot better than the bottom like puddle does. Yeah. You guys figured that all through trial and error. Yeah, exactly. Going that's how you guys figure out a lot of stuff though, <laughs> honestly. That's this whole job. It's like, oh shoot, that didn't work. All right, write that down. Don't do that again. Let's try something else tomorrow. But I guess that keeps it interesting, so it's fun. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, and we're always trying different new ways to get things done, see if we can get them done better. Precisely. This, this, this is what was happening <laughs> this morning. Just on a bigger scale? That's not that bad. It was the whole sheet of them. <laughs> I don't know what I walked into. I was like, oh boy. Feels bad pulling them apart too, because they have like nice organic shapes from just the way the, like the caramel kind of spreads itself out. Yeah. And then when just like separating them gets it to where it like gets all cut up. And so there's like straight lines in it. It's just not as, it's not as fun. Hmm. Looking good, looking good. Thanks, Coop. <laughs> you know it, Craig. <laughs> it's the vibes. I always do think it looks cool with the blower blowing on the chocolate to get it all the excess off. Just enough, yeah. Just enough. Don't worry, we're not cheating anyone. <laughs> <laughs> it, it would genuinely be a lot of chocolate yeah. if we didn't. Yeah, be like, I gotta get through. It's I gotta like eat a... all this chocolate oh. to get to my caramel and nuts. God. No way. And be riots in the streets, People pitchforks. People would be complaining. Yeah. So try my best to keep that from happening. Yeah. The last thing we need is corporate stepping in. <laughs> corporate's a, not. Corporate's not nice. <laughs> it'd be a PR nightmare. Corporate's heavy-handed. <laughs> no fun in games. So when did you get that duck sweatshirt? Oh, my parents got it for me when they went to. Memphis, wherever Elvis is from. <laughs> is that Nashville, Tennessee, Nashville, Memphis? Nashville, it's in Nashville, Memphis. Yeah, the state which, of Memphis. Which one's, which <laughs> one's Elvis from though? I don't, I honestly don't I know. can't remember what state he's from, but that's where this is from. Well, Tennessee, I think has both Memphis and <laughs> Nashville, right? I, I have really no idea. <laughs> I should know, but I don't. That's awful. That's our American education at work. A hundred percent. Oh man. Make, making my parents proud with that one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so they, they got it on vacation. They thought it looked fun. Mm -hmm. And originally they sent a picture to our like family group chat. And I was like, oh, this is a six watch shirt. And like nobody told me. And like everybody just like assumed it was mine and I just didn't know. I was just like <laughs> out here like, oh, sick. I thought my dad maybe bought it. And I was like, okay, cool. And then they're like, it's yours. I was like, oh. Oh, cool. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> they know that sweatshirts are the key to your heart. They do. <laughs> They're fully aware. Mm -hmm. Just makes sense. Yeah. You always have the greatest sweatshirts and you're always cold. So it's kind of perfect. It's a win-win. <laughs> People have categorized me as like my personality is like a sweatshirt. I'm like, <laughs> what? I'm like okay, but like they're like you just always have one on. I'm like that's that, I don't that's know a, if that makes it that's your a personality. personality trait. <laughs> I, <laughs> it's like eh? I mean, as long as they're cool looking sweatshirts, then I guess I'll take it. <laughs> Do you like free things? Do you like candy? Do you like ducks? Because I like all those three things, and so I'm here to tell you about our new fantastic offer. You can adopt a duck. They're all fantastic. They all taste a little different. They're all special. You go to our website, after you check out, there's a little comment section, you write duck, and you'll get one. I don't know which one, but you'll get one. 